Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of emotional fulfillment. This is a card of a happy, long-lasting relationship. You and someone share the same vision for the future. There's this energy of moving in the same direction and being quite well aligned in love. There is emotional fulfillment and stability here. Uh, so this is that happily ever after type of energy. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse earth energy the hermit virgo energy and we have the knight of swords air energy so someone is realizing that they want this with you it looks like this could be someone you took space from or you are not together right now you could be separated or there's just this energy of someone having pulled back the energy and went into hermit mode to really reflect and introspect um and this person is realizing that you mean a lot to them they feel that you guys are very compatible and there is an energy of them coming towards you very quickly and they're coming towards you with generous energy they're generous with their hearts their emotions they're expressing themselves um because they want to pursue this ten of pens ten of cups type of relationship with you this is someone who's not going to hold back anymore okay so let's clarify these cards aries Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So yeah, it does look like at some point this person was a bit closed off to this connection. They needed time, space away from the connection to realize what it meant to them. You could have even felt like this person was putting off making a decision or that you felt trapped in this connection because you felt like it wasn't up to you, it was up to them. There's this feeling of having your hands tied, feeling powerless to the situation or the circumstances. And it does look like you're not making a move towards this person. Instead, they so they are the ones who are having to come towards you let's see okay we have the death card scorpio energy the page of swords a energy and the six of cups water energy so it does look like this person is ready to transform the connection um they are very curious about you especially if they haven't heard from you in a while they miss you and they have they're starting to realize how deep their feelings for you are um this is someone who actually wants to communicate this to you um because they they do feel like there's a bit of a soul tie here. They feel like the connection is very intense for them and they can't just um, take this for granted, you know, overlook this. So they're coming towards you with a generous energy is what we're seeing here. And they may have a lot they want to communicate to you, say to you, get off their chest. Um, and, you know, this person, it may even feel a bit overwhelming when they do this because with the Knight of Swords, it's like it's a lot that they need to unpack here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Aries. Okay, we have a time for healing balsamic moon so yeah this could be someone who you had to take time to heal from the situation you may have pulled back your energy to kind of recover to heal you may have even felt a bit victimized or trapped by this connection okay so i'm gonna put another card for you
Okay, so we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so you are being encouraged to stay optimistic so that you can avoid falling into this eight of swords energy. There's something about the mindset that's, you know, entrapping or pessimistic. Okay, so I'm going to plot another card for you. Okay, we have beauty and happiness. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Okay, so this is someone who still wants to hold on to this connection. Okay, so I'm going to plot on a, a card for your advice, Aries. Okay, we have surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling. During both the hard and easy times, keep surrendering to more joy. So there's again that message of staying optimistic. Um, you may be viewing the situation as worse than what it is. Um, this person, they, they care about you more than you may know. Like this is someone who actually sees forever with you. They do feel very tied towards you. There is an energy of this connection will always impact them. And they actually do want that 10 of cups with you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.